Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're doing another unboxing. This is the Pimax Crystal. I have tried this headset before. I was invited down to my good friend and fellow VR content creator, Gary. You probably know him as the host of the Recentered VR podcast, better known as Immersive Robot. If you saw my initial impressions video of the Pimax Crystal, you might remember I was not very impressed at the time. For me, the Pimax Crystal was a bit blurry. Both Gary and my good friend Daysnetic said that the Crystal was really clear for them, but for me, I did not get the clarity. As far as I know, the focal length in the Pimax Crystal is a bit shorter than the focal length we get in the Quest 3 or the Rift S. Basically, as some of you are aware, I've had cataract surgery on both my eyes. I no longer have the ability to focus with my lenses. My lenses are mechanical. My vision for long distance is 2020. I no longer have to wear glasses, but for close up reading, using my computer, I have to use off the counter glasses to emulate a normal eye, which has the ability to focus. I've got a feeling when I'm in the headset with my glasses, it's going to be super clear, just like the Quest 3. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Pimax for sending out this review unit. I'm under no obligation what I have to say about the headset. Any games I play and videos I make with the headset are going to be my own opinions. I did reach out to Pimax when these first came out. Unfortunately, there was none available for me to, to try. But why have I got one now? It seems that Pimax have seen some of my UEVR mod videos. That's the Universal Unreal VR Injector from Prey Dog, which turns basically any Unreal 4 or 5 flat game into a VR game. Pimax want me to try the mod with this headset. I'm hoping my GeForce 3080 Ti graphics card is up to the task, but only time will tell. For now, I'm just going to be doing an unboxing of the Pimax Crystal. We're going to have a look inside. We're going to have a look at the headset. We're going to compare it with like the Rift S and the Quest 3 in size and dimensions. So let's look inside the box. Okay, there's inside the box. Those are face covers, I can feel them. Okay, so let's have a look at the headset itself. It should just come out. Okay, there we go, look. So you can see the uh, size of it there. And inside we're going to see the, uh, the lenses look, the Pimax lenses. So unlike a Quest 3 or the Rift S, this is going to have a larger FOV. You're going to be able to see more of the world in VR. Uh, these are the controllers, Pimax controllers. They've gone for like a Rift S type design. This is designed to work with a PC, but you might notice there's no cable up. Um, I do believe the cable goes in there. There's like an adapter there that we're going to uh, unwrap and discover in the box. Inside the box, we have uh, a manual and a guide on how to install the software, get it all set up. There's also these things here. I don't know what these are. Uh, they feel like battery packs. Okay, could that be a battery pack? I have no idea. That was in the other side as well. That's definitely a battery of some sort. So these battery packs are leading me to believe that this also might be a standalone headset. I'm not 100% certain at this time. I've not read any info about the headset. So it might be that this is like a, a cabled VR headset, also a standalone one. That would account for these uh, like batteries that come with it. Right in the bottom of the box is this box here. Uh, these are all the cables look for connecting the headset to your PC. And that's something I'm going to be doing over the next couple of days. So it does feel quite heavy, weighty. And it's about the same weight 
I would say is a Rift S. You can see they looked a bit more bulkier on the front. The reason why it's so wide on the front is because of the uh, FOV. You've got a lot more FOV in this headset than basically any other headset. I don't think the FOV in this headset is quite as wide as what you get in the 8K versions. Again, there's the Rift S compared to the uh, Pimax side by side. Now we have the comparison with the Quest 3, so you get to see the size as well. So there's the comparison with the Quest 3 look. Again, a lot wider on the front. It's about the same length. My daily driver used to be the Rift S. Sadly, I no longer use this headset. That's been replaced by the, the Quest 3, which I can now connect to my PC with the cable. This is also a standalone headset as well. You can definitely feel a difference in the weight as well. This is very light compared to uh, the Pimax Crystal. From the reports I've heard, this is quite comfortable once you're wearing it on your head. The faceplate on the front is more of like a, a foam type material. The one on the back's more leathery, more rubbery. It feels more like a denser foam. I just noticed some um, electronics in there, look. That must be where the battery goes. We have a ratchet on the back for tightening the headset. I don't know what this is for. This piece of uh, foam on the top, I think that comes off. That might just be to keep this in place. Stop it getting damaged. We have some air vents on the front to keep it cool. The speakers look like a weird design. They just hang down, look. But I do believe that these speakers are like interchangeable with um, the DMAS ones that they produce. That must be for the cable. We also have vents on the side and there's vents on the bottom as well. Along with like a USB-C port. We're going to remove the film now from the lenses. There's one and there's two. It's hard to show on the video, but the lenses on the Pimax seem to be slightly bigger, which you would expect for a headset that's got a wider FOV. Okay, we're going to try it on for comfort. I need to make sure this is quite comfortable and they work okay with my glasses. If they don't, then I'm just going to buy some new ones off the shelf. Okay, my glasses fit. That's quite nice and firm. There's a flap there that was on my nose, but there's a bit of light leakage coming in from the sides and where my nose is. It feels really nice and comfortable though with foam around my head. Just a matter of adjusting it all now. It fits with my glasses. Let me try a different pair of glasses. I'm not used to wearing glasses in a VR headset anymore. See if these fit as well. Yep, these fit fine. All the glasses I've tried so far fit fine. I'm just going to compare the controllers with the, uh, these are the, uh, these are a bit dusty, I've not used them for a while. But these are the Rift S controllers and these are the Pimax controllers. The ring is slightly bigger. Very similar design look. and they feel quite comfortable in the hands. I'm really used to this design. The headset itself is all inside out tracking, very similar to the Rift S and the Quest. Before I go, that was the uh, replacement face cover that was in the little bag. This should peel off. And then that will go in there like that somehow. So you've got a choice of having this type of face plate or one with a bit more support on the top there, look. The foam on this one feels more like the foam on the back as well. I'm going to have a play around with this for the next few days and then I'll get back to you with some videos, some UEVR videos and uh, my initial impressions again of the headset itself. I'm hoping it's going to be a clear experience that everyone's been telling me I should be having in the headset. Oh, there's a strip there as well, peeling off. 
and apparently this all lights up green on the front. I'm going to look like a Cylon. So that's the Pimax Crystal unboxing. I'm going to leave all the details about the headset uh, below this video in the description. Again, a big thank you to Pimax for sending me this review unit to test out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.